We're about to do something that we've never done before, and it will be two moves, one right after the other. Just gonna talk a little bit about our last move, coming back into this park. It's kind of a complicated move. Also, we're celebrating Veterans Day with an Instant Pot roast with veggies and potatoes. Bacon and eggs. Guess who gets his own little bowl? And just gonna talk a little bit about our last move, coming back into this park. It went actually pretty well, and it was kind of a complicated move. Now, what I mean by complicated is that we had two moves to do in that day. And those two moves were, we moved to this park. We dropped our rig, hooked it up, got power, got water set up and then ran over a few spaces to pick up our friend Jeff and his rig, which is a 46-foot DRV. This thing is a monster, three axles. It's, it's amazing and beautiful. So we hooked it up to our tow vehicle, to our F450, which is way more than capable of towing it and ours at different times. We uh, tied it in, had Jeff do the majority of the lion's share of the work, and once we were done hooking it all up and getting ready to go, we drove it five miles or so to a park that he's going to be staying at. And that park tends to be pretty doggone tight. It's one that we had been at. Hold on, stay over here, buddy. It's one that we had been at a bunch of times before. And the last time we were there, we had some issues with where they had put us on a weekend in between a couple of um, regular, uh, park model units, the power, we needed an extension cord, the sewer we couldn't go hook up because it was right under our axles. But when it's not as full, they move you all the way to the back and there are decorative orange trees everywhere. It's a nightmare for a long rig to try to get in because the streets are narrower too. So we had Jeff drive because it's his rig and I didn't want to be responsible for doing any damage to it. Um, just like his vehicle, his is a 350. Ours just turns a little tighter and it's got a little bit more power. Well, actually it doesn't have as much towing capability, but it's got a little more power. So no problems getting over there. The first spot they gave us wasn't even gonna begin to fit that DRV in. So the security guard was nice enough to move us over to another space and it looked like we could do it. We'd have to pull all the way forward into some empty spaces that were in front of that slot, which Jeff did very nimbly, and we were able to pull his rig, push his rig back into its uh, location without any problems. Jeff is an amazing driver and he's uh, very capable when it comes to taking care of things like that. So once we got everything in place, uh, we went ahead and disconnected, took our RV, our uh, tow vehicle, our tractor, back to the park that we're at now and went ahead and finished hooking everything up to ours. Uh, Jeff will be back in a week and if they haven't got his tow vehicle done, we'll go back and redo this again to get his rig back over. I think he's going to be in for a three month stay rather than using the thousand trails. They're just going to pay for a slot. So it was a fun experience. It was a busy day for us, but not something we couldn't handle, and we handled pretty well. It was an up day for me and for uh, Shelly, so it worked well. So it was me, Grizzy Boy, and Shelly, and Jeff, 
and his family in their toad, which is just a drive along that kind of follows. And everything went smoothly. So yeah, I, it was a fun experience. I had a really good time with it. So, and Jeff is always a whole lot of fun. So the only bad thing is that something happened with our audio. We had no audio whatsoever. Great video shots of us from inside the truck, but for some reason our mics didn't sync up to it. So we think everything's taken care of now. I did a quick audio check on it. So we'll, we'll see how it ends up. Thank you guys for watching. This park always goes out of its way to celebrate all of this country's holidays. There are so many wonderful veterans who live here. Thank you for your service. dinner it will be an instapot roast about a pound and a half with peppers onions carrots and new potatoes I covered the meat with extra virgin olive oil then with a rub called sweet rub of mine I guess that's sweet rub oh mine and dropped it in the pot on a sear till I had a nice golden sear on all sides then pulled it out and tinted it while I cooked the carrots and onions for a couple of minutes. Moved them out of the way Put the meat back in and added all the other veggies. Red and yellow bells, then the seared ones. Poured in about one and a half cups of uh, vegetable broth. Closed it up for 40 minutes on pressure and dinner's on. Put the mess on. Iron it up until it gets hot. And to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and lay the bacon out. <clears throat> the next morning after our walk, I fired up the griddle and made a large plate of bacon and eggs for me as well as one scrambled with bacon for our hard-working little man, Grizz. <laughs> and Grizz, Grizz knows we're out here. There's three eggs for me and there's one for him. He loves his egg scrambled. So I'm going to turn it down some. One of the things I learned quickly about being a short order cook is that if I didn't wear an apron, I didn't have nice clothes by the time I was done. There's your apron, there's your hand towel, spatula and there's a spare paper towel just in case that you can replace quickly Grizzlies goes on. A 
quick wipe down and back inside to share our meal. Just FYI, seems that the repair shop working on Jeff's truck told him that it would take longer than expected. <laughs> Go figure. No problem though, we'll be there at the appointed time to help him make the move back next week. We really appreciate the time that you take out of your day every Sunday to spend with us. It means so very much to us. If you have a moment, please hit that like button and share this and all of our videos with your friends and family. We're looking forward to seeing you back here next week on OLT. Sure hope you had a good time watching our show. Please, travel safe.